Hello everyone, welcome to Native Mobile Bits. My name is Sachin Rajput and today we are going to figure out one interesting way to calculate that how long our code actually takes to perform some functionality which we are writing inside different different functions. And for that, let's write a function which can simulate a long running operation. Let's call it long running operation. And this function can just have this repeat block and let's write some two lakhs fifty thousand times we just want to print a dash okay so we just want to print this these many times so it will take some time to print this and once this repeat functionality is completed let's say we want to return a string that function completed okay and let's add this as a return type a string now let's say we want to calculate that how much time this function will take to perform this functionality here which is just printing this dash to like 50,000 times so we just want to know that how much time this function is going to take how we can calculate that so in Kotlin there is one time class which is a experimental class and it has one very good function which can help us to calculate the time taken by this function and now let's call this function first of all inside our main function which is the entry point for this program next thing we need to do is we just need to grab this function inside a method which comes out of time class which by default included in Kotlin package we just need to use measured timed value this one and we just need to wrap our function within this okay this function is coming out of time class and this is the experimental class so we just need to opt in and now that error is gone and we can store the result in a variable now if we hover over this variable it is showing us that this measure time value is now returning us one timed value and this timed value contains the return type which we have out of this function okay so we need to destructure the result here so we can destructure the result and we can do that like this value of a string type which is the return type of this function and then the time taken to execute this piece of code with the help of this measure timed value okay so we can just add a comma and we can just take time of duration type okay so now we'll get both of these value and let's print here that time taken is to calculate value okay so let me tell you once again what we have done so far we have one function which can take a lot of time to execute some piece of code and we want to know that how much time is taken exactly to execute this complete function okay so we have one method out of Kotlin time class which is called measured time value so our long running operation function we have grabbed inside this and this is returning us one structured value which contains a timed value and this timed value also has the value coming out of this function which is a string type value now we have taken the result out of this and we have stored in a destructure way where we are having value of a string type which is this function completed and time taken will be given by this method and then we are just printing both of these values so let's try to run our program and let's see what we get so we can see that first these dash values are printed for 2 lakhs 50,000 time and then we are having the print statement that time taken is these many milliseconds to calculate this value okay so this way if we have any function we can just grab that function inside measure time value which comes out of Kotlin time class and this function will return us 
the exact amount of time taken by the respective function to execute this piece of code so that's it for today i hope you enjoy the video if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you very soon in the next video till then please drop your thoughts in the comment section which is very helpful in terms of youtube algorithm thank you and see you soon